watching and welcome back to my channel. It is time for another get ready with me. This one's gonna be a little bit different because I decided I wanted to do a like Q and A with this get ready with me. I used to do the body mod Q and A's all the time. Got away from them because it got very repetitive. And so I miss doing like a Q and A session cause it's a chance for me to like talk one on one with you all. And, like just answer any questions you may have. But this one is just more broad. So I did ask over on Instagram if anyone had any questions they wanted to submit or get ready with me Q&A. Just very casual feel to it. This is the final look. There was no rhyme or reason with it. I just picked up a palette that I wanted to use that I hadn't used in a long time and I was like let's make something. So it became like a pink purple vibe to it. I'm not mad with it. It's a it's a little muddy on the eyelids but it's fine. Whatever. It looks okay. But yeah if you want to you want to see how this look came around and listen to me answer some of your questions. That was a terrible snap. Keep watching. Hello. And welcome back to another get ready with me. This one, I wanted to do like a Q&A get ready with me. So that's what this is gonna be. But yeah, I was like, let's do something a little different where I do my makeup and y'all ask me questions and I answer them. Things like that. Wow, that five head. I don't really have an idea of like my look for today, except for I am gonna be using the Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, mostly because I haven't used this in a long time. It's got a lot of pretty colors in it, so I thought I would give it a whirl. It's been a bit. I didn't use it too much. Like you can see one has hit pan, but otherwise I haven't really used this palette, so I thought for this get ready with me, I would. Also, I'm trying something different. I'm not using like my typical like headband to pull my hair back with. I'm using clips. We'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna start off with Milk Makeup's Hydro Primer. It's by far my favorite primer right now. Also, I have gone back to doing my eyes first because I can clean up any fallout that may happen while I'm doing my eye makeup. Tried the other way. I'm doing my face first like everyone else seems to do, but I just can't do it. And then I am putting Urban Decay's Anti-Aging Primer on my eyelids. I always put my face primer on even though I don't go right into my face products just because it kind of helps let it get into the skin. And then for my nose, ever since I learned this little trick so that your makeup doesn't cake on your nose, you use eyeshadow primer. So it's the Urban Decay Original Formula, not the anti-aging one. I probably could use the anti-aging one on it, but Whatever, I'll save the anti-aging for my eyes. So I do think, I kinda wanna do like a pink purple look today. So there's a bunch of pink purples in this palette. You've got love, you've got drama, celestial, but they're all like glittery. So I might just stick primarily with love and then maybe do like a little pop of one of the purples like in the inner corner of my eye. It's gonna be kind of a simple look. Don't expect anything wild from me. Maybe one of these days I'll get confident enough to do a wild look for now not so much also i'm not going to be reading anyone's names for these questions we'll be here forever i'll go through and pick the ones that kind of stand out to me there were some that were repeated like multiple people asked similar questions so if i don't answer your specific one it's probably because someone else asked one very similar to you by the way in the crease of my eye i'm going in with what they call base just to kind of fill in. Start off with a good base, basically. Top three things you're excited for this year. Wedding. Moving. Wedding, moving. Those are big. I'm trying to think of a third one. I mean, we have our like mini honeymoon right after the wedding to Disney World. I am very excited for that. But like there are a bunch of other things happening too. There are some things that just because they are not me personally, but they're happening to people who are close to me. Like, I'm excited for those things too. They know who they are, but I also don't want to blast their information online. I guess right now, wedding and moving are definitely top of that list. And then as for the third one, it's kind of up in the air. It's between, you know, all the concerts that are happening this year, our Disney trip, because who doesn't love Disney? But the, the third one's kind of up in the air, but definitely wedding and moving are in the top two spots. Hey, this is gonna be a very simple look today. Nothing wild. I think I will add volatile. What a name. You go from like soul, incense, love to volatile. Put this on the outer corner just to kind of darken things up a little bit so it's not all just one 
shade. There's nothing wrong with just one shade. But yeah, I think those are the three things. Or the two and three that are interchangeable. And then speaking of moving being like, you know, one of the things I'm excited for, that was actually a, a like one of the most asked questions for this. People were curious like where Luke and I are moving, who's moving, because if you don't know, my fiance and I have been long distance for our entire relationship. He lives in St. Louis, I live in Central Virginia. And so I've actually answered this or mentioned this a few times in other videos, but Luke will be moving here to Virginia. We're not staying in Central Virginia. We're looking more to the Northern part of the state. The housing market is trash right now. So fingers crossed for us because while we're excited to move, we're also very anxious about it because the housing market is garbage right now. Not in favor for us. Also, I'm putting a little bit of glitter primer on the inner corners of my eye. I'm gonna put that in there. And then I think I'm gonna go in to Celestial, which is this really light purple shade. Let's see how this turns out. This is probably gonna be garbage. Eh, we'll blend it out. It'll be fine. I'm just kind of playing around right now. So to answer that burn-in question, Luke will be moving here. We are staying in Virginia, or at least planning to. We're looking primarily to move a little bit more north right now. But again, the housing market is garbage. So we'll see how that plays out. So this is looking a little muddy, but it's fine because when in doubt, you then put eyelashes over top of it and you can't see anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and lashes off camera, so be right back. All right, eyeliner and lashes are on. For eyeliner, I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And then for lashes, Black Moon Cosmetics in the style Cancer. I actually just ordered another pair because I think these are on there. They're last few uses because I use them all the time. So moving on to foundation, which will be Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Snow. What's the first part of your makeup routine you do? Aside from primer, it's actually moisturizer. I always uh, moisturize my face before I put anything on it. So that is the very first thing I do. What made you want to start getting piercings? Honestly, I don't know really. I can't really even remember how I came about to be on like, hmm, let's do more of these. Cause like before I really started getting them, I had gotten <laughs> some done at Claire's. We don't speak of those times, but like I never really was like, oh yeah, this is what I want to do. If I'm truly thinking about the time period of when I started, I was going through a tough time in my life. And for some reason, Pearson's brought me happiness as did tattoos eventually. But I don't, I don't even remember like why specifically Pearson's was the route that I went. I don't know, maybe it was the opposite of what I had been like as a person. Prior to getting Pearson's, I was like goody two shoes, wouldn't step outside the norm. Like I remember when I got my first nostril Pearson, I hid that from my grandparents for so long. So I was like, oh, and I hid it from work for so long. So I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want them to think anything, you know, about me, blah, 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 which is funny to look back on. Cause like nostril piercings are so accepted now. Even my grandparents didn't bat an eye on at that really. But honestly, I don't really know like what sparked it. I just know something in me was just like, this is what you want to do. Will you do a video showing all of your pets? Absolutely not. I don't know how pet tubers do it. Even if they're like trying to do like educational videos, then you get the people that are coming in like, actually, and I'm just like, no. I don't need anyone to tell me that my cats are overweight. I am aware that they are. They are on a diet. Luckily when my cats show up on stream, people are nice and they're just like, oh, it's a chunky boy. But if I were to post them on YouTube, whew. The YouTube commenters are not as nice and friendly as Twitch viewers are. So will I be doing a video all about them? Absolutely not. They may show up in vlogs, like Ivan sometimes pops up in vlogs. The cats will sometimes pop up in vlogs for brief periods. I did a whole video about Finnegan a while back, my crusted gecko, but even then I got comments being like, oh my God, he needs to be in this kind of a thing, this kind of a thing, even after I did my research. And it's just like, you know, this is what the majority said. This is what I went with. Like, I don't have to tell you. More power to people who do pet tube. Y'all are brave souls. How is your stomach and how are you doing mentally? I guess stomach, why do you mean like in regards to my weight loss surgery? It's doing all right. I mean, 
It's funny how like even five years later, there are still changes that go on like with what my stomach likes and doesn't like. All of a sudden my stomach does not like red meat. Like it was a little eh about it before, but it really does not like red meat now. It's like, no, we are not having that. I guess that's what you mean by how is my stomach? That's the only thing I could think of. Mentally, eh. I'm dealing with a lot of burnout, dealing with a lot of like second guessing myself, like as a content creator, second guessing myself, things like that. Mentally, I'm a little exhausted, but I'm okay. And I appreciate you asking. By the way, I'm using like three concealers for like the highlighted areas. I use the KBD, whatever this concealer is from KBD. I use that as like the highlight. Then I use the Born This Way for like spots on my face because my face has decided it wants to break out, which is great. Love that for me. And then I go into my nose with Cover FX Power Play Concealer and that goes on my nose. It's a look, isn't it? What's your newest tat? My newest tattoo is this one right here that wraps around my butterfly. Though I do have one coming up of Elton John. It's gonna be a little cupai on my leg at the time of filming. My butterfly is my newest one, but I do have an Elton John one coming up. I was supposed to have already had it, but we had to use that appointment to finish the butterfly. Also, before I ever put like setting powder on, I always give my face like just a good little spray just to really sink it in there. Setting powder, Fenty Beauties. Pro filter in lavender. I always go back and forth on whether to use a sponge or to use a brush. Currently, I'm on a sponge kick. Put it into the powder and then do this all over. At this point, are there any side effects of the VSG that you still have to deal with? The fact that vitamins still make me very nauseous when I take them, five years later, which is why I usually forget to take my vitamins because they make me almost or always throw up. It's almost like my stomach just can't handle the amount of everything that's in the vitamins. I actually have a doctor's appointment because I haven't had a physical in a while, like a full physical. Actually, I haven't had a physical since I had the surgery five years ago. So last time I went to the doctor was 2019 when I had like a weird bout of vertigo that happened. My mom was like, maybe you should do a physical. And I'm like, I don't want to do that, but you're probably right. So uh, I do have a physical coming up at the end of May. Make sure that everything's working. They're probably gonna be like, are you taking your vitamins? And I'm gonna be like, don't need to call me out like that. What are your top five favorite movies? Uh, so I've discussed before how I'm not a big movie watcher. I tend to fall asleep during movies, TV shows as well. Just off the top of my head, Dark Knight. The Dark Knight, the Batman movie with Joker, the Heath Ledger Joker. All time favorite movie, absolutely love that movie. Then, 10 Things I Hate About You. Also with Heath Ledger. Are you seeing a trend? I'm just not a big movie person or a TV show person. I'm a YouTube and Twitch person. <laughs> I also just can't think off the top of my head of movies that I like. You know? That sounds so bad. I know. People are like, oh, these are my favorite movies ever. And I'm just like, ooh, I don't really know. The two that come to mind are The Dark Knight and 10 Things I Hate About You. I also like the American Pie franchise a lot. They're fun. I like comedies. I like romance. I like romantic comedies. Not just like full romance, like romantic comedies. I'm just not a, not a huge movie person. Probably such a boring answer. Like, damn, Gretch. Nothing? Like, nope. I also really like Clue. You know, the cheesy movie done in the, I don't even know what year it was done in, but the one that has like all the alternate endings. By the way, Contour is Fenty Beauty's Sunstalker in the sun. I don't really change up too much when it comes to this. How are you going with your retiring Pearsons? So I've only technically retired three. I don't know if you're also meaning the belly button Pearson that I had to retire after like nine days of having it way back when. I've retired that one. I retired my Lebray down here and then I retired this nostril, my right nostril Pearson. But that one is like only a temporary retirement because I am planning to get it redone. Just wait until after Luke and I get our engagement photos because I don't need the nostril piercing to like be flared up. But otherwise they're doing good. You can still see the hole here, but honestly it's not that noticeable. Mostly because my bottom lip comes down enough that it covers it. It's definitely closed. The nostril one, pretty sure is also closed, but you can still see the hole. Navel one is long since closed. That was like 20, what year was that? 20, 
16? That one's been a hot minute. They're doing well. What's your jewelry theme gonna be for your wedding? So it's probably just gonna be very simplistic, probably like the clear look that I already have going on. I don't see myself doing anything wild. I might get nicer jewelry than what I already have, like in. I'll not be wearing black silicone tunnels for the wedding. I will be getting a nice pair of plugs. Same thing with like my septum and my philtrum piercing. These two right here, I'm gonna get them really nice looking pieces, but it's probably still gonna be like the diamond look. I don't know if I can afford for everything to be diamond. Good God, can you imagine that? Everything real diamonds, Woo! holy moly. That'd be more expensive than anything else in the wedding. <laughs> we will not be doing that, but we'll be getting something at least, like especially for the facial jewelry that shows. The ear jewelry may not show as much. It's gonna be clear. Is basically what I'm getting at is the the color scheme. It's timeless, classic looking. I don't want my jewelry to really stand out at the wedding. Gotta blend that contour down onto the neck. I'm not someone who like usually matches their neck to their face. I probably should though. Like just drawing it down. Blush today. I have been absolutely loving this Animal Crossing blush from ColourPop, the Flower Power one. I know what it is. I don't usually like pink blushes, but for some reason. I have really been enjoying this one. It kind of goes well with the pink eyeshadow that I used. I used to just keep it on the sides here, but recently I've been kind of lightly pulling it into the center just to make myself look a little bit more alive. What is your absolute favorite way to have your coffee and what teas do you enjoy, if any? Ooh, I like that question because I am a huge coffee drinker. Love coffee first thing in the morning love coffee pretty much any time of the day especially if you want to add a little baileys to it in the afternoon good times so my favorite way to do my coffee i do i have a keurig i use the brand well i don't remember the brand off the top of my head it's like nantucket something no that's not it all i know is the coffee is called dark magic so i do that it's a dark roast and then i do a little bit of stevia in it. I also have the Tarani flavors, the sugar-free flavors. So I'll, whatever I'm feeling that day is what I go with. And so I have caramel, chocolate, vanilla, and hazelnut. So whatever I'm feeling that day, I'll usually do a combination. I usually don't just do one. I usually do a combination. And then I have this really awesome oat milk. That's like coconut based. It's very strange, but I love it because it's low carb. Mix a little bit of that in there. And then I'll put a little bit of whipped cream on top and then i've started recently putting sugar-free chocolate syrup just drizzle it on top it's great that's my favorite way to do my coffee also highlight today was haunted lights from revolution gives it like it's got like a purplish undertone to it so again goes well with the blush and the eye color words are very hard tips that have helped you maintain your weight after vsg also do you work out <laughs> not as much as i should i do have my peloton but i really need to start like just walking again i used to walk ivan all the time and then we got away from that after we had a run in with our neighbor who yelled at us one time and it scared the crap out of both ivan and i so like we haven't gone walking again because we didn't want to come across her it's a whole thing i also do have like some free weights but I've definitely gotten away from that because I'm very flabby again in my arms. Need to get back to toning that up so it's a little bit more toned for the wedding. Everything revolves around the wedding right now. But tips that I have found, definitely just following the rules that are kind of given to you, at least eating wise, you'll get like a list of things with VSG that like you should never eat ever again. Peanut butter is one of them. I'm not gonna give up peanut butter. Same thing with popcorn. Popcorn is like my favorite snack ever. However, I've just learned moderation is the key. Don't just keep going until all of a sudden you feel absolutely ill. But the biggest thing that I have found is you learn you can't eat or drink at the same time. Like when you eat something, you then have to completely finish and then wait 30 minutes before you can drink something. And that's really difficult even five years later. There's really no like tips or tricks. It's mostly though making sure you don't fall back into bad habits, which I have unfortunately done. I've broken some of those bad habits only to form other ones. I always add a little bit of white to my inner corner now just to make it pop a little bit more. And this is the NYX Jumbo Crayon in white. Pop a little bit of mascara. Our lower lashes and then a little bit of mascara up top now that these have time to dry and stick and a little bit of mascara to have the natural and the fake blend and now i'm going to spray and then move on to lips 
I do work out not nearly as much as I used to and tips wise I've just learned what my stomach likes and what my stomach doesn't like. I've also learned a little fun thing with just me. I don't know if other people who've had the surgery deal with this but when I am full I get the hiccups and that's when I know you gotta stop. That's a fun little trick that I've learned about my body but I definitely haven't stayed the same weight. I have fluctuated quite a bit like I was at a low point and then I realized that that wasn't for me so then I gained a little bit and then DoorDash became my best friend unfortunately and so I've gained a little bit more so now I'm trying to lose some so like it's still a battle. I always laugh when someone says that it's the easy way out because it most certainly is not and you're a fool if you think that. Also for lips today I am going to do Black Moon Cosmetics. Absolutely love this liquid lipstick formula. And this is in the shade Wrath because it fits so nicely with the pink purple theme that I was going with. Like, look at that. It looks so good. And now that this is all on, I do go back into my brows because they are microbladed, but I do like them to be a little bit darker. So I just go in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe and just kind of darken them up. I could have gotten them microbladed slightly darker but I wanted to be able to change things up if I wanted and it's hard to do that when they're already too dark but that is the final look I think I kind of like how it turned out I didn't really have any direction with this look this like pink purple look my hair decided to get wavy a little bit got a little toasty here in the filming room because it's also where I have my computer for streaming and stuff like that so but I kind of like it the the pink purple-esque look that's going on here. I kind of like it. But here is the final look for this get ready with me. I liked doing the, the like Q&A one. Might do these more often just if you want to ask questions for me, to me, whatever. I will say I do sometimes miss like the body mod Q&As that I used to do but they just they started to get very repetitive so this was kind of a fun little spin on it where it's more broad. It's not necessarily about body mods but like if you have any questions for me you know it's a good good time to be one-on-one -on -one, to talk one-on-one -on -one. i like doing that with you all i kind of like how this look turned out again i had no direction when i went into this other than the fact that i just really wanted to use this palette because i haven't there's so many palettes i have that i haven't used in so long that i was like i need to start using them why did I keep them if I'm not gonna use them, you know? So I kind of like how it looks. But I do appreciate you all letting me try out different things on my channel, because again, still love piercings, don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to do a little bit more. So I do appreciate y'all watching, taking the time out of your day to watch things that aren't like my typical. So thank you. Special thank you to my patrons. You can help support the channel on Patreon while having access to videos early, viewing patron-only content, and more. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and then go on down there, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when I upload next. But until next time, bye y'all! Mm -hmm.